Do you have a story to share? Yeah. All right, this one time uh, when I was in fifth grade, I went on a field trip as part of a church excursion, and our mentor or group leader person decided to uh, take us to a psychiatric hospital. Uh, a little weird, right? Uh, anyway, you know, we were supposed to go and find someone to connect with and, you know, bring them flowers and talk and stuff like that. Um, you know, me and a couple of the other kids, we walked down the hall and we were, like, looking in this room where they kept the really messed up people. And uh, this one guy, I'll never forget his name, Jason Johnson, somehow he got the door unlocked and him and his friends, they pushed me in and then shut the door behind me. And it was like, I was so scared. I, there was just all these crazy people just moving around, looking at me, and you could totally see that they were out of their minds. And then I noticed across the room there was this black man with a helmet on, and he was just standing against the wall, just staring at the wall. And then suddenly he turns and he stares right at me, and he comes running straight towards me with his arms flailing all over the place, and all I could see was the whites of his eyes. And he came right up to my face, right up to my face, and he... He just smiled, this huge smile, and gave this wave. And I was petrified. I, I couldn't do anything. I, I just peed my pants. And then finally, I, I ran back outside, and all the kids were out there and standing. And they were just laughing at me. And how did that make you feel? What? Well... How did it make what me feel? I, I told you I was frightened or humiliated or whatever. I mean, I pissed my pants for oh, Christ's okay, sakes. Okay, all right, all right, I all mean, right, okay. It, it left an emotional scar. Well, I guess that's enough for embarrassing stories. Um, whatever. I want